Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am sharing with you something very exciting, something that I did this past week. If you follow me on Instagram, DIY.with.anastasia, then you know that I've landed the biggest balloon job that I've ever did. Very excited to share this with you because I've made seven balloon mosaics. This job is actually split into two different delivery dates. My first delivery date happened to be this past week and my second delivery date will be actually tomorrow. So in this video, you will see the whole process of balloon mosaic making. I didn't stop and explain every single step because I had people over constantly. I had to hire help. My brother was here to help me out inflate balloons and my dad was here to help me out as well. I will do a voiceover. I will try to explain as much as I can. And here is when you guys gonna jump in and help me out. In the comment section below, let me know which balloon mosaic tutorial you want to see. Pick one or two and let me know. Most of my balloon mosaic patterns I got from Elsa Paper Boutique. Thank you so much for sending me your patterns. I really enjoyed working with them. I will link her store in the description under this video. Also, I got some of the patterns from Creative Hearts Studio. I will link her in the description under this video as well. Every single balloon and everything that you would need to know will be linked in the description under this video as well. Without any further ado, Let's go and I hope you will enjoy this video. What I have so far, I glued everything uh, together yesterday evening just to prep for today. This template is from the creativeheartstudio.com. I bought two mosaics from her. This mosaic comes with a stir gingerbread. Then from the same website, I bought this beautiful looking nutcracker. Let me unfold this for you. It's a big nutcracker. I am pretty sure it's about like five feet tall. So I need to make two of these. These reindeers came from Elle's Paper Boutique. Her shop is on Etsy. I will link and list everything in the description under the video. Also from Elle's Paper Boutique, I got these or this Christmas tree. I'm gonna glue two more mosaics right now and I'm waiting for some help to come over and we're gonna start cutting these out and making these out of foam. My Thanksgiving balloon garland is still looking great. Nothing deflated or popped. It's been probably like two weeks since I made this balloon garland, even probably even longer than two weeks. Anyways, this is the table with all of the balloons, almost all of the balloons that I am planning to use for this job that I'm prepping for. And this is the pile of all the foam boards. These are from three stores, two local Walmarts and one Dollar General. The cheapest foam board, if you're looking for the cheapest, is at Walmart, 88 cents. Then Dollar General is a dollar. And don't mess it up because Walmart sells two types of foam boards, one 88 cents and the other one is $1.77. Um, this brand is $1.77 and the cheaper brand, let me see if I can find it here with that sticker. It's kind of like a Ross sticker. These are cheaper. So I had no choice. So I had to buy uh, both 88 cents and dollar. Um, 77 so I bought this cutting board as well. I was doing my previous mosaics on this cardboard box and it's gonna serve us um, as a Gluing station this box because we're gonna be doing a lot of gluing Next to my computer I have other stuff like glue gun my metal rulers metal rulers will work the best because 
This sharp knife that I am using to uh, cut my foam can't cut through plastic rulers. I've tested that and I've ruined my plastic rulers. I will link them in the description under this video. They came from Amazon and I really like this uh, set of rulers because it comes in 24 inches, very long, very good for your uh, longer strips of foam. Then we have a smaller one, like 12 inch ruler and this ruler right here will be perfect for something like those little foam sections that i need to cut for my borders so lots of tape glue gun sticks and everything else that i would need process is going we are done cutting all of this i'm gonna keep this not cut out because it's way too small we'll see if i'm going to use it and yeah we're gonna start uh gluing all the foam now all right our first foam mosaic is almost ready these are my horns right here we still need to do the borders and that's going to be the most probably satisfying thing for me to do not cracker not cracker in the process of being cut out all of our mosaics are cut out and they are all glued we're stacking them over here our horns right here we are cutting uh, boards borders into strips i am measuring them out and drawing and alona's cutting them oh you guys a quick update on what is happening right now so these are all the scraps that we have so far lots of trash and stuff is everywhere. The overall, I will be doing seven mosaics. Gingerbread, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread. Then I have two nutcrackers, a deer, and uh, something else I can't remember, a tr Christmas tree. Lots of strips that we prepped with uh, Alona and then a whole bunch of boards that still needs to be used. Lots of cutouts. I mean, and I started working on this huge Christmas tree. This tree is six feet tall or five, five, five. <laughs> I'm like lost in all the sizes. And this is where I am gluing everything. You guys wish me luck. It's gonna be so interesting to finish everything and see the final result. Very important thing, it took us five hours, both of us, me and my cousin, we worked for five hours. We prepped everything, we cut those things out, we glued them together, we pre-cut um, all of those foam boards for our walls, and uh, till this moment, five hours, you guys. It takes a while, both of us, that's a long time. Day two. Progress is made, two Christmas trees and one uh, ginger, Mr. Gingerbread guy is oh, done. No, no. <laughs> okay. Now look, we're still cutting, still gluing, having so much fun. I don't know. <laughs> so much fun. quickly checking in it's day three of prepping cutting and gluing as you can see you guys we're almost done i am working today by myself my helper couldn't make it today and we basically finished everything on monday and tuesday and here's what i am doing today or what i did i made these horns over here for my deer i am finishing up with my nutcracker i still need to glue um two more foam boards over here and one more nutcracker to finish completely so it took me literally five hours i've been sitting here on this blanket all day all day you guys it's not as fast as you think because uh, these mosaics have a lot of curves and you need to make a lot of details in these uh, 
in them basically so for example these horns over here as you can see there's a lot of turns and with a lot of turns you need to make a lot of cuts for the foam to fit nicely in your curves and turns so that that took a while of like measuring everything cutting and stitching everything together so it's fun you guys I absolutely love how this turned out amazing one of my favorite pieces that I've made these horns over here <laughs> anyways let's go back to gluing cutting and uh, finishing everything up tomorrow's a big day I am planning to fill everything not planning I have to fill everything with balloons and uh, Friday is gonna be delivery about the tutorial I will make a specific uh, video about mosaic making and I will show you one of these um, figure A's how to make let me know in the comment section below which one you want to see or if you want to see something different than this I can absolutely make that because I have a whole bunch of other templates that I want to use it for my videos so let me know in the comment section below what you want to see um, Bye for now. See you a little bit later. Update you guys. All of my mosaics are ready to be filled with balloons. I'm exhausted. I'm not even showing myself because I barely got any sleep. I really struggled with these guys over here. I didn't struggle, but it took oh my word so much time to measure everything out i am smarter now because i didn't see the detail that they had on the picture and i had to like stitch the legs over here and stitch it here i mean a lot of stitching was happening but i'm smarter now and if i would do this all over again i would do it differently but it's gonna be one beautiful beautiful mosaic work two beautiful mosaics absolutely love these um not horns but they are antlers right so love them so much i haven't glued them to my deer yet i just put them there to see how it's going to look i mean everything is ready i finally vacuumed my floor and it's clean again anyways lots of scraps I didn't use as many foam boards as I thought I would use, so I am very surprised. Look at how many I have left. I also made, pre-made all of my stands to hold uh, my mosaics. I will attach them a spot because for transporting, it's going to be a lot easier not to take up a whole bunch of space because the base is like four inches wide and uh, to pack them in the car is better when my mosaics will be flashed to each other so i am filling in my deer starting with my legs this color looks incredibly weird on camera and it's not focusing but it is a coffee color and i'm excited to uh, go and make the antlers and all of the details so Decided to help. Personal, <laughs> Yeah, professional. Actually, first time. He's working with balloons for the first time. Should be success. I'll teach you. <laughs> Thank you. Still going strong. It's already ten. 10 o'clock and 13 minutes in the evening. I started around uh, four, five o'clock. So I've been doing this for about five hours now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but so far reindeer is my favorite. And my brother, he helped me to blow a whole bunch of balloons, like right here, even for those gingerbread people. I made them pretty fast just because I had already blown balloons, so that's nice. All right, let's tackle this first smaller size Christmas tree.
to go to bed. I need to get up at 7.15. Still need to finish this one. This one's almost ready. And bedtime. Hey, you guys. So the next day, I am not showing you myself because I am a hot mess. I need to go get ready. But first, I need to finish this part over here. And I am done with the whole nutcracker. That was the last thing that I needed to finish today because, uh, yeah, I needed some sleep yesterday. Anyways, let me finish this and I'll show you everything all together. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly switch these four balloons because I made a mistake. I noticed that yesterday already and it seems like I have a little bit of time left. So I want to switch the section because of the white trousers and then boots at the bottom. So let's pop them and uh, change them. I feel like I like this better because this white color breaks down the gray and uh, I like it. It looks like trousers. Dad to the rescue, we're packing, let's go. We're leaving gotta show you the inside here we go snugged all right let's deliver them are right here this is the farm that i am delivering all of the stuff for two weeks in a row uh let's unload checking after driving looks like everything's still intact but it was pretty crazy looking in the back so we'll see is where I will be placing my balloon garland on this side. I will be adding some gold and florals as well. This is a final look on the setup, except uh, we're missing an acrylic sign with everything. And this is what I made. Too bad it's a little too dark, but it looks very beautiful. Very classy, but a little bit of flowers can't change a lot. I will tag everybody, the vendors and all of the providers of the stuff um, in the description under this video. So go ahead and check it out looking for some rocks to put uh, on the bases of our garlands because I don't want it to fall. I think we're done here. We're not going to be placing them in spots where they're supposed to go. Um, Raya's coming very soon and she's going to place them where they're supposed to go because I don't know. It's Saturday, so we are going to the farm to check all of the mosaics out and see the farm because it's going to be our first time there as a family. It's going to be, should be fun. They provide refreshments and all of the Christmas uh, stuff is starting today. And officially for Christmas, they're opened on uh, November 25th, 6th, I believe. So let's go check it out and hopefully all of my mosaics are still alive i'm gonna show you my favorite house on this road because it's the most cutest house ever before christmas they're actually setting up right now it looks like a fairy tale every single year so my husband oleg he's gonna show it to you look how cute this is look i'm gonna show you how it's going to look when it's gonna be all lit up in the evening we're here
Look you guys, these are my nutcrackers. <laughs> Favorite, so this delicate. Is so wow, what? what? This is very oh. Adorable. oh, wow, so sparkly. It's great, still looks great, but the nose popped. <laughs> They're doing so good. This is a beautiful ceiling decor. Gorgeous. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Nicole, was it good? All right, so we're done exploring the farm. We're gonna be back next week, right? We're gonna wear a lot more comfortable um, clothing uh, because this is <laughs> not farm-like whatsoever. We were planning to go out today and uh, camera is not focusing whatsoever but hey we'll be back kids loved it maybe we'll go sit by the fire and do other stuff as well so bye for now so we're driving back home and in a little bit I will show you how this house looks this house is always colorful always like look at this always colorful and this one is extremely classy let me see oh no it's not on <laughs> oh they just decorated okay i guess all right you guys have a good night <laughs>